what is it? Let's... Oh, it's for you. The next video is... Asking Seniors? What is your name? My name is Eric Rocca Valdez. I'm Joaquin Bravas. Gavin Escalera. My name is McKenna Ivy. Carson French. Alyssa Valdivinos. Uh, my name is Richard Lopez. Haley Hansen. Something you would tell your freshman self? Uh, probably to take it a little more serious and but also enjoy it a little more too. I don't know. Tell my freshman self to enjoy every day and every year. Uh, because we kind of got stuff taken away from us. So looking back then, I didn't know that was going to happen, so I definitely tell myself to enjoy it. That high school is going to go by super fast. Don't skip out on big moments because it goes by fast. I tell myself to be more confident in yourself and just have fun, like be comfortable. High school, you don't want to be uncomfortable everywhere you're at. You just want to feel yourself, you want to feel good. To not be afraid to go out and do things like join extra clubs or sports. Who was one teacher that impacted you? Uh, one teacher that impacted me, I would say, would be Miller. Mr. Miller, because he's just a fun and such an outgoing teacher. He's really easy to connect with and, yeah, just my guy. Uh, Mrs. Smith, for sure. Um, every day, she just showed us, like, motherly love and stayed on top of us to do our work um, and just treated us like her own. Mrs. Truett, she was always super supportive of me and she made me want to go into sports medicine. Uh, Mr. Wilson, because I can relate to him. And Mrs. Mitchell, she, uh, as much as like we're different in uh, teaching styles, she's a lot more serious and I, I like to have fun. She, she gets the business and she really cares for the students. And Mrs. Butters, she's just more of a friend than a teacher and she's always there for you. You gotta say Eric Rand. That's my guy, man. And why? He's just him. Bye, because, you know, everyone loves bye. What is something you wish you would have done during high school? Uh, I wish I would have played sports when, uh, as a, when I was younger, like freshman self. That's what I would have done as a freshman. Care a little more, but care a little less, if that makes sense. I wish I would have participated more. Uh, I should have did running start. What are your plans after high school? I'm going to go to Grand Canyon University in Phoenix. Plan to either study business or environmental science, either at Central Washington or go play the cross in Colorado. What's one thing you're going to miss about high school? Uh, I'd say all the people and just like, you know, see all your friends all the time. Mm. The teachers and the people for sure. I'm going to miss everyone. I, li I like surrounding myself with good people and I'm going to miss all the good people. What is one life lesson you learned? Go with the flow. Everything happens for a reason. Definitely stay motivated and stay on top of your stuff because it's easy to slack off and get distracted. What was your best high school memory? All of it. Probably during COVID when we had our own homecoming dance. I think that was by far one of the best moments. Definitely just all the events with all the different friends, meeting a lot of new people. What was your favorite thing about high school? Just seeing blue and all I do, you know, ch chill on a motto. Bro, that video is crazy. Let's see what the next video is. I love that video. Let's see what the next video is, shall we? Yeah. See blue. No school spirit whatsoever. Man, that's crazy, man. It's, you know what? I think you need this. Let me help you see the blue. What? Just put those on. But talk nation to make you see the blue. You two be ready after them. Brandon, Alex. Whoa. Dude. 
Are you seeing the blue now? <laughs> I, I think. I gotta go see what the world looks like. Oh my goodness, seeing blue is awesome. All you guys should do is do Wait, what? Awesome. Make sure everyone that you wanted to see blue! Danny, you gotta admit, that was a pretty good video. I mean, like, the people who worked on it probably put a lot of hard time into it. Huh? They put a lot of hard work into it, didn't they? That was a good video. Yeah, it was pretty good. Alright, whatever. All right, let's watch the next one. Can I read it? Here. Oh, looks like the next video is Teacher versus Student Cooking Edition? That's so cool. What's up, Chihuahua? Today we have a super exciting video today. We're gonna be doing Teacher versus Student Cook-Off. Let's just go introduce you to the Teacher versus Student. Let's go see what they're cooking, guys. Come on. This is our teacher. Do you want to introduce yourself if school doesn't know? I am Mr. Hendricks. I've been here for a while now. Yes. And what are we cooking today? We're doing a mac and cheese. That was the challenge that was thrown down. Enough said. I think that's enough said. Let's go. Who are you? I'm a rainmaker. Are you pretty confident about this cook-off? Mm-hmm. Get started. It's the cooking challenge. Go. Introduce yourself. I'm Cameron. Do you have an Do you have an age? Three. I gotta go, guys. Oh, who is this? My, I'm a judge. Name? Elijah. Occupation? Elijah. Social security number? Elijah. It's pretty important that when you do a cheese sauce, you use a fresh block of cheese and grate it rather than the shredded cheese because there's a powder that they add to it that'll kind of inhibit melting. I remember learning that when I was in his class freshman year. What kind of flavor you're going for? Like, how are you gonna dress up your mac and cheese? Cheese dust. Cheese dust? Hey, hey, what do you have to say about Emma's cookie? Looks like one of our judges is trying to cheat the system. Look at this guy. Elijah, what are you doing over here, bud? I'm checking on him. He's crowding me. He's what he's doing. Let's go. Get you out of here. Get out of here. Okay, so we have the dishes ready. They're labeled by um, letter A and B. And so we're gonna have the judges. We're ready to taste, so let's see what happens. Oh. All right, who are you? Hello, I'm Ms. Farias, one of the food teachers here. Okay, so first thing we're trying is A. Okay, what are your thoughts? It doesn't taste bad. It's actually kind of good. This is super good. I would totally eat this. Very creamy, seasoned, I like it. Okay, let's, let's do B. <laughs> hmm. Is there any like noticeable differences between the two? Uh, yes, there's a difference, but they're both good. B was the winner among two out of the three judges, so let's see who B was. Oh my gosh, it was Emma! No way! Oh my gosh, Emma, you won! You won! What are your thoughts right now? Yay! All right, guys. The judges have spoken. Emma won. Student win versus teacher. If you want to experience this fun cooking experience, you should join Food and Nutrition. I did it freshman year. As I said earlier, it was super fun. And it's really fun to learn how to be like independent cook and stuff like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. And hey, if you want to make macaroni, it's apparently very easy. She did it. She did it. And she won. So don't have any trouble making macaroni and cheese. That video was crazy. That was sick. I did not believe they were gonna win. Me either. Oh, we got mail. The next video is Chiwana's favorite teachers. Who's your favorite teacher and your favorite class and why? Gotta be Mr. Pitzer in physics just cause like, it's a, it's a chill class. Like you don't, he just tells you what to do and you just, you just do it like however you want, whenever you want. And he's 
He's a chill teacher. Who's your favorite teacher, your favorite class, and why? Uh, Mr. Gassenhoven, because we played VR, uh, and because I said so. Okay, who's your favorite teacher, your favorite class, and why? Um, my favorite teacher is Mr. Johnson, uh, and it's chemistry, too, because I actually learned there something, and then he's very funny. Who's your favorite teacher, your favorite class, and why? Ms. Hansen, it's 2D animation, because I get to animate stuff. Okay, who's your favorite teacher, your favorite class, and why? Okay, Miss Raymaker, because she's like really chill. And then ASL, because it's fun and our teacher's chill and really does not care. Who's your favorite teacher, your favorite class, and why? My favorite teacher is probably Miss Reilly, because she's my FCCLA advisor. And then my favorite class is probably school store or video production, because they're very relaxed. Who's your favorite teacher, your favorite class, and why? Uh, I like Mr. Alford because we do not do anything in his class, so we can do whatever we want. Valid. Man, that video was so good. I'm, I'm sure gonna, I'm sure gonna miss all those teachers. I can't believe it's been four years. It's a good video. I don't know what I'm gonna do. With my kid. It's not. I'm not. It's gonna be okay, man. It's gonna be okay, dude. Video. <laughs> the next video is down memory lane. Down. Harry, what the heck? What's your favorite memory? Uh, my favorite memory is probably when our baseball team made it to state. What's your favorite memory this year? Probably coming to America from Spain. My favorite memory of this year is tearing my ACL. What's your favorite memory this year? Uh, I have to say senior skip day with my class. What's your guys' favorite memory this year? Our favorite memory this year is making it to nationals for FCCLA. My favorite memory this year is hitting a thousand followers in the People in Public account before it got taken down. My favorite memory was filming the wing video with Doug. What's your favorite memory this year? My favorite memory is when Jaden rode around in her little bicycle really quickly. It was really silly. What's your favorite memory this year? Uh, probably this right now. <laughs> Choose a mind.